Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, so my presentation is about germination test, but briefly I will mention why about organic amendments and their effect on germination and why we test germination test. So as mentioned by the previous presenters, organic amendments are uh, enhanced soil productivity by improving soil fertility, soil aeration, and water availability. And they are sold uh, as fertilizer or manure. So in this experiment, we use it uh, Milorganite, this is uh, prepared from municipal waste, chicken manure, and cow manure. And as mentioned earlier by Dr. Fers, the nitrogen content of Milorganite is 5%, chicken manure 3%, and nit uh, the nitrogen of cow manure is 0.5%. Uh, organic amendments are applied at a rate high, uh, higher than fertilizers, conventional fertilizers. For example, urea has 45% nitrogen, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, chicken manure has 3% nitrogen. So if plants need five pounds of urea, the equivalent amount of chicken manure is 75 pounds. So you have to apply 75, five, 75 pounds of chicken manure to get uh, the required nitrogen. In addition to nitrogen, chicken manure contains phosphorus, potassium, and other nutrients. And earlier, Dr. Ferris also showed the contents of, or the elements found in chicken manure. So risk of applying higher risk of organic amendments, why? Because amount of some of the nutrients in organic amendments could reach toxic levels and inhibit crop, inhibit crop growth. So to avoid that, we do germination test to find out the optimum rate that we should apply. So germination test is the easiest and the quickest method to identify toxic levels of organic amendments. So we conducted a germination test uh, students at Prairie River University in our university are involved in this uh, project and they did most of the experiments after they got training. So what we do is we prepare one gram of chicken manure, milorganite, and dairy manure and we add it into a test tube and for every gram we add 10 milliliter of water and we check the solution for one hour we filter and prepare this extract. So this extract is from chicken manure, this is from milorganite, and this is from dairy manure. And we dilute it so that we will have different strengths of these uh, organic amendments for our germination test. So here, students are preparing different or different levels of the organic amendment from this by adding water and they pour into a petri dish. The experiment is done in a petri dish, and they pour, and there are seeds here on a filter paper. So after pouring, they arrange it so that it will look like this. Space it, the student is doing that. After that, they seal it and incubate it for about four or five days. So the results, and you can see this result also outside. I have a display on display this result. So as you can see, this is a control where only we added water. And these are the, on this side, you can see different levels of organic matter, organic amendment. So for each plate, we have to add four ml of water or, a or different strengths of organic matter, organic amendment. And on this row, you can see this is chicken, different levels of chicken, and different levels of milorganite, and different levels of dairy. And as you can see here, water in water, all this, almost all the seeds germinated at low concentration, 
Uh, also, whether it's chicken, milorganoid, or dairy, uh, the seed is germinated. When we increase it, the levels, we start to see the germination being affected by chicken manure or milorganoid. And the high strengths without dilution, you can see chicken manure completely, almost completely inhibited germination. The same with milorganite, but dairy manure didn't inhibit germination. So they were doing good uh, at all concentration when dairy manure is applied. So we also study the growth of the seedlings. So the student is measuring the shoot and root lengths of the seedlings of uh, those germinated in petri dish. And as you can see here, at lower levels of uh, organic amendments, the chicken manure uh, enhances the growth of the roots. Uh, this is a control only in water. And you can see that the root length was about 350 millimeter. Uh, but when at, at a higher level, even germination was inhibited. While dairy, dairy manure enhanced the growth of the roots at a higher level. And this is a result for the shoot lengths, it's similar. So we did also uh, germination test in soil, in pots, and the amount that we applied is from none or zero control to a higher level of each organic amendment. So here is the result for the uh, experiment in pots. This is control. No organic amendment was applied, and you can see the seeds germinated very well. Here, 0.1 of the recommended rate, and you can see at lower level, the germination was good when we applied dairy manure and milorganite, but chicken manure start to show some uh, reduction in germination. And here, again, at 0.5 of the recommended rate, you can see a reduction with both milorganite and chicken manure. And at a higher level, you can see chicken manure, when we add a higher level of chicken manure, germination was inhibited while the dairy manure still, it can, uh, the, the, the seedlings can grow or germinate and grow even at a higher level. So this is similar to the Petri dish experiment confirming. So if you want to apply organic amendment, you can do uh, similar experiments. You can apply different levels of uh, the organic amendments and see how much you should apply, you can estimate. So summary and conclusion from the study is that organic amendments are applied at a higher rate and some of the nutrients in the organic amendments could reach toxic levels and inhibit uh, crop growth. Germination test is the easiest and quickest method to identify toxic levels of organic amendments before applying to crops or using them in the field. Our germination test results indicate higher rates of milorganite or chicken manure, but not dairy manure could inhibit germination and growth of collard greens. And our ongoing research will identify the optimum rates of various organic amendments for collard green and other vegetable crops and publish results and recommendations in extension bulletins. So you will have the information once we finalize our study. So uh, I would like to thank you, the students who are involved in this project. And the team members are me and Dr. Fares, Dr. Bible, Dr. Oldesembe, Dr. Al, Dr. Gao, Dr. Antim, Dr. Soria, Dr. Carson, and Dr. Oswiji. If you have any question, contact me. My phone is here and email. Thank you. And during the break, I can show you also uh, that's that.